Hello world, this is What's Up 2 and I Zero, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to any VHF repeater over the internet. When I say any, please note that the uh, VHF repeater in question you're trying to connect to does have to be registered on this service. So this is a program called Echolink. It's available for Windows, Linux, and I believe it is on Mac OS too, but I'm not entirely sure. So uh, I'll put the link to download in the description. So first things first, you're going to have to register your amateur radio call sign to use Echolink because you you have to have your red your they have to know your call sign exists. You have to have an identity when connect when using the service etc. There is a process you have to go through to set up an Eagle Echolink account using your call sign. So once you've done that everything will show up here. All of the stations that are currently available for you to connect to, like here with their respective call signs. Please note, if it doesn't come up, what you can, if you have trouble connecting, what you can do is use the outbound and inbound router test here. At least for me, I did have to connect to the, uh, I did have to configure port forwarding on my router. So once you've done, so once you've done all that, you there are many more features, but I'll just go over the basic ones. You can you can either check which call signs can be currently connected to on your menu here, and then just co connect, and then just click like that to connect to one. And uh, or what you can do is go up here, click click on connect to. And then type in the call sign of the uh, station of the uh, station repeater you want to connect to here. What what else you can do is and then once it's done, click here to transmit. There is a thing that happens where it's like you have to wait a couple seconds before you can transmit. But once the green light that uh, lightning bolt turns yellow, click the transmit and then just click that button again when you're done. And make sure you click that button again when you're done. And uh, that's about it. So I hope I'll put a link to download Echo Link in the description. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is what's up two and nine zero. And I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.